Okay, now that we can add new items to the to-do list, uh, we're going to go back, go to the index.php and we're going to actually start reading those items from that text file so we can print them and uh, so our website actually looks like a more functional, it will, it will be functional website. Now I would like to create a list. If I don't create a list, if I just print them, it's not going to look good. The way I can do that is that I can insert my PHP code into a list tags in HTML. That way, every time I print something, it's going to look nice and part of a list, item of a list. After all, we're doing a to-do list app. So I'm going to add a open list, ordered list, sorry, ordered list tags in my HTML code. And I'm going to close the order list here. Now, uh, here in the PHP, I don't need to print uh, first app. That was just for test purpose. Now, I need to uh, write a code that opens the file, opens the items.txt, and reads each line from items.txt and prints them in, uh, in the PHP into the HTML. Okay, so it's a dynamic website. That as that file changes, the website will change as well. So this is the difference between a static website where the content remains the same compared to a dynamic website as um, data changes, user changes, the website will also change. The content will change. So first I'm going to start by creating a handle variable, which uh, I will read the F open. I'm going to use f open function to read the items.txt. Items.txt. And this time the parameter is r because uh, we're going to read the file. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it consistent. Items file. I'm going to call it items file handle instead of handle. This variable will be items file. And now let's see if items file is there, there's no problem with that, we write it, read it. Now we're going to run a while loop. Since we're reading line by line, we need to run a loop. Now line equals f gets function. This will read the line for us uh, in the items file. So as long as there is a line to read, it will keep running the while loop and read these. So again, as long as there's a line that's not empty, uh, we will be reading those lines and then we will print them. Now the cool thing about PHP is that you can add HTML into uh, what you're printing in PHP, in PHP and that gets parsed as an HTML element. So I want to add some list elements because Right now we're in an ordered list, right? And order list has a hierarchy where it actually goes like this. You have list elements, list item one, and then you close that, and then you have another another uh, list item, blah, 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 it goes like that. So I want to create that type of structure, there, therefore, here, I'm going to concatenate opening and closing tags of the list item to each line I read from the file. So, list item opening tag. So remember, concatenation operator is dot. And then the variable here is line. So each line gets read. And then, again, concatenate with the closing tag of the list item. Because in HTML, when you open a tag, you have to close that tag as well for um, open for items that have opening and closing tags. And after I read all the file and printed it, I can close the uh, items file. I can close this file. And that's pretty much it. And I'm also going to add a link here so uh, people can just click on that link and go to the add item.php page 
at item.php. So there's link, there are links between these pages and a new item. Okay, so this is my uh, new version. It's going to be my new version. So I'm going to upload this. I will open it here and let's do that. And right click, add to archive, um, zip. Okay, so this is a new version. I'm going to go to my dashboard, upload and deploy, choose file, cloud PHP. This is the new one, upload. And I'm going to call this uh, version 02, like this, version 02, and deploy. It's going to take a while to upload this again, and then we'll check. 